what's up everybody welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new to my channel my name is Tice and I do hair beauty and vlogs and all kinds of stuff so um, yeah hit subscribe and uh, you're gonna see more but today we are gonna be working with dreadlocks um, dreadlock extensions however you guys want to call it uh, I was so excited that I finally ordered these fake dreads through the dreadshop.com or dreadshop.com which they have amazing selection of all different kinds of dreads from thick ones to medium ones and really thin ones um, they come in all sorts of colors you can mix and match it they came in the mail and they came very very quickly which I was so happy very nice packaging um, I opened it up it was all wrapped in a clear wrapper um, yeah and these are super long dreadlocks too I also ordered a nightcap to go with it just because I wasn't too sure how I would wrap my uh, hair up and uh, sleep with it so I just ordered it just to be on the safe side and it worked very very well um, but yeah so I already wore these dreadlocks once and I did the installation all by myself to my entire head and for you guys you guys know that my hair is really really long so oh my god that took me about four and a half hours and my arm was about to fall off but today we are doing it different I'm gonna have my model Ray come in he has just the top of his hair long and the rest is shaved and I'm gonna show you guys how I install these um, double-ended dreadlocks and uh, yeah I'm gonna use him as my model so stick around I'm gonna go grab him and we're gonna get this started I'll be right back Okay, you guys, so I am back. This is Ray, and I'm using him as my model. And as you can see here, his hair is all shaved on the sides, but the top is very, very long. Not as long as mine, but it's still very long. So it might take me a while. Um, what I'm gonna do is, okay, you can do this two ways. You can either section them off, make really clean sections, squares, triangles, whatever you wanna do, but I personally don't like it when it's so neat and perfect. I think it looks more realistic when you grab random sections. Um, let me show you. These are what we're working with today, okay? Doesn't that look so amazing? Like I said, I already wore this one, so yeah. And at the end of the video, you guys stick around because I'll be plugging in some pictures of me with all of this in my hair and yeah. And I totally loved it, but next time I'm gonna have someone install it for me and not do it myself. Um, so besides these amazing things, you're also going to need some rubber bands. Make sure you get the rubber bands, not those elastic ones. Because if you're going to be wearing this in your hair for a while, it might snap and break if you get those elastic, non-tangled ones. Um, you're also going to need some water. Now, I find it so much easier when your hair is wet. The flyaways is way less versus if you do it while it's dry and you're going to have all these flyaways. Um, with flyaways it does look good it looks more real so I mean you can do it either or eventually the flyaways are gonna come out anyway so and uh, make sure if you're gonna be sectioning off you have like a like a pointy what is this called um, like a highlighting comb so you can section off cleanly so yeah so you guys let's go ahead and get started and oh yeah this is what a double ended um, dreadlock looks like so this part right here see right in the middle is where it's gonna go straight onto the scalp clip this away and you're gonna braid your hair into this secure it and instead of getting one dreadlock out of the braid you get two so yeah that's pretty amazing so you guys let's go ahead and get started oh. Okay, so first you guys, let's go ahead and make sure we get this hair damp. All you're doing is braiding it. Braiding one side of the double-ended um, dreadlock into the hair. And depends too, sometimes what I like to do is at the very end, you're gonna have like these little guys here. See this, this? I like to just kind of wrap it around and kind of shove it into the dread and then I get the rubber band and I secure it. And there you go, here's another one. Oops. 
So now he got four when I actually only did two. Okay, you guys, so you guys saw how I did the first part, I mean this side. So again, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing to this side. Make a little section, split that in half, and then use split in half like you're doing a normal braid. So you're gonna have these two sections here, and your third section that you normally have is gonna be your actual lock. So um, the thing though, you wanna make sure, you wanna try to get it as tight as you can at the root. So, you don't have any kind of embarrassing moments where it slips out, you know, that's not fun. So yeah, and then you're just going to go ahead and just do a normal braid and go all the way down, 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 down. And this is my last one. So yeah, hold on. Let me go ahead and fast forward this part so we can end this. And we're done. See? Look at this, look at that. How amazing does this look, right? So yeah, so now his hair is that much longer. You know what, like the styles that you can do is endless. You can be a pineapple if you want. Uh, Love it. You can do like one of those cool buns like that. Wow, I am jealous. I wish I could put this back in my hair, but I don't want to do it by myself. And then yeah. You can just pull it back and wear it like that. You can wear it down. You can be a regular man. And yeah, so how do you like it? I love it. Okay, so let's talk about this a little bit. So right now, let me show you guys. So it comes in this, right? So this one I haven't opened yet. Um, let's see, how much is in one of these? Um, so there's 10 pieces. So actually, there's going to be 20. Yeah, there's going to be 20 in here. The size I got is, um, this is black. I got just the straight up black. I should have got one more color, but next time, next time. Um, it does have the instructions in the back here on how to wash it and how to take care and maintain, which is really good because I would not know how to um, make or, you know, clean this. Um, yeah, so this one is the longest one. Shoot, I forgot what it was, but I'll, I'll, I'll link it down below in the description box. Um, so this is about, let me see. So this is about two bags right here on top of his head. Um, maybe like a one and a half bags. Um, I purchased for my whole entire head, I bought six bags. On the website, it recommends six, um, six of these. 
And yeah, so I bought all six, but I only used four or four and a half of it. So I have a bag and a half extra that I didn't use, so which is good um, just for backup in case any of them gets ruined. I can easily replace them. Um, so yeah, and you know what? Um, I'm gonna also link the website down below in the description box if you wanna go check it out. They have amazing stuff. And let me just say something. If I knew, so right now he has the medium, what are you doing? <laughs> he has the medium, um, thickness in his hair. Now they have one that's a thin one and they have a thick one. If I knew it was going to be this thin, I would have went with the thicker one just because number one, is it would be easier installation and take less time. And yeah, so I would have went with the thicker one. Um, it's I seen some people on the website where they put the thick and the thin one where they mix and match it. That looks amazing. So yeah, I, I thinking, I'm thinking my next one is probably going to be, I'm probably going to get like a light brown or a brown just for some contrast and put it every here and there. And um, yeah, I love it so much. And hey, you know what? Right now, I'm gonna be putting in the pictures. I know these are horrible pictures, but I look a mess. So this was at the Las Vegas Golden Knights hockey game. Um, I put this in my hair and I did get a lot of compliments on it, which was a good thing. And yeah, so this is what it looks like. And I loved it so much. It lasted in my hair for all two and a half weeks until it got really itchy and I couldn't take it anymore. And so I had to take it off. But hopefully he keeps his on for a really long time. Uh, yeah, does it feel heavy at all? What does it feel like? No, uh, not heavy at all. No? Yeah, see, which is, a, it. it's super lightweight. <sighs> it's super lightweight. And you know what? I want to thank the dread shop because I've been looking for good quality dreads for a really, really long time. And now I know where to go and now you guys know where to go. So check out the pricing and all that kind of stuff. I don't want to tell you the pricing just in case prices change or whatnot. So again, check on the description box below. And yeah, other than that, um, I think that's it. So this is the fake dreadlocks and it's a good way to go. It's non-damaging to your hair, obviously. And yeah. So other than that, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, sorry for all the fast forwardness, but yeah, for more videos, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be posting videos every single week and hit me a thumbs up button and leave me any kind of questions or comments down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm already working on my next video and I can't wait to put that up there. So yeah, you guys, well, anyways, you guys all uh, take care. We'll see you later and yeah. Aloha. Okay, bye. Peace.